Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new Safari 4 public beta. So yesterday, Apple released Safari 4 public beta. This is a preview release so we can take a look at Safari and help test it out for them and it will be released later this year. Now I don't recommend that you download it simply because there's already a lot of reported problems particularly having to do with using mail after Safari 4 has been installed. But I've gone ahead and installed it myself so I can show you. Now the biggest new feature by far in Safari 4 is the speed of JavaScript. So JavaScript is the programming language that's used on most web pages. You may not even realize it's there but a lot of web pages have JavaScript running underneath to produce a lot of the cool Web 2.0 features you're used to. So Web 2.0 sites, which just about everything now, will run a lot faster on a Safari and my tests show that this is true. So that's probably the biggest plus. In addition, there's a slightly new look. You'll see in the screenshots in a minute how the tabs actually appear at the very top of the window, not underneath the toolbars. And there's some other specific features. Let's take a look at those. Now the biggest new feature by far is the Top Sites feature. You see this as soon as you come into Safari. It's basically this 3D view showing you graphics of all of your favorite sites. It tries to figure out what your favorite sites are by seeing which ones you visited. But you can also enter this Editor Mode which allows you to go ahead and specify what you really want to be there and move them around. You can do a lot of different things in the Editor Mode. Uh, let's take a look here. You can go ahead and put a little pinpoint there where you want something to stay. So now MacMost will always appear. You can get rid of something that you don't feel should be there. And you can also drag and drop things around in it. You also have a few different size views for the top sites feature. Small, a large, and a medium. Now that's not all for the 3D effects. You've also got 3D cover flow in the history view. Now history view includes bookmarks. So you can look through your recent sites they're right there. You still get a list view underneath but you also get this visual view as well. You can also go and look in bookmarks. I don't have any here but you can go ahead and look at the book, bookmarks bar which there are quite a few different things. So it's a neat different way to look through your history and bookmarks. There's also a search field that will then narrow down what it is you're looking for through your history. So you can just type something in there and it will basically order things in something to do with the search term. So I would search for Mac and Mac most comes up first. Here's a feature that Firefox users are used to. When you start typing in the search field, you get suggestions from Google about what you're typing for. So, for instance, you type me.com personal and it immediately thinks, oh, personal domain, personal domain email. It gives you those options. It's kind of nice and makes it easy to find things. So, if you'd really want to try out the public beta Safari 4, all you need to do is go to apple.com slash Safari. You can download it from there. It also comes with an uninstaller so if you do experience problems with mail or some other application you can uninstall it. That worked fine for me. I'd love to hear what you think about Safari 4. You can send me a tweet. My Twitter address is R-O-S-E-N-Z. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.